today we're going to talk about the assessment process. That's where we come into a community and we secret shop it for a week. It's the most popular program we've ever done and we have now assessed more than 1,500 communities throughout North America and in Western Europe and Scandinavia. By the way, when we come into a community to do an assessment or an area, a lot of times we do county-wide or area-wide, when we do that, we wear three hats. First, as a place to live. Is this a place I'd like to live, retire, or raise a family? Is this a place that would attract the millennial generation, young families? The second hat we wear is that of business. Is this a place I would want to invest in, start a business, move a business? That's economic development. And then the third hat that we wear is that of a leisure visitor. Is this a place I'd want to come and visit and spend time? Before we even arrive on site, we are secret shopping you already. We look at websites, we look at brochures, we secret shop your visitor information. We have you send us materials. How long did it take us to get those materials? Are those materials good enough to close the sale? How are websites? Are we able to find information? What's being said about you? So there's a lot of pre-assessment work on the marketing side. And then we come on site and that is where we spend most of a week. We arrive on Monday and the first thing we do is do kind of a reconnaissance. We drive around, look at downtowns or neighboring communities or your gateways, your entryways, just to get a feel for the community. On Tuesday morning, we head out and we really do the outlying areas first. How do you stack up to your neighbors? What are those gateways when you're first coming into town? We look at schools, hospitals, neighborhoods, parks recreation centers, amenities, uh, from a tourism standpoint, things to see and do, museums, historical attractions, you name it. On Wednesday, we start coming into the interior. That would be downtown, shopping, dining, entertainment. Are there things to do after six o'clock? And here's an important statistic, 70% of all consumer spending, visitors and local, takes place after 6 p.m. Are you open? Are there things to do? What are businesses doing to pull people in the door? What's their curb appeal like? You know, another statistic is 70% of first time sales comes from curb appeal. So what are you doing to pull people in your door? What's really cool about secret shopping is we can say things that maybe you'd like to say but can't without paying a political price. On Thursday is the day we put together the assessment findings and suggestions workshop. It takes eight hours to put this together because remember, it's 100% about you. On Friday morning, we do a public workshop called assessment findings and suggestions. For every shortcoming or challenge we find, we provide a low cost solution on how to fix it. We really focus on product development. Marketing is kind of between us and you, you know, but this is the, the bigger picture on that Friday morning. And then we do an assessment findings and suggestions book. It's a little book, usually about 70 pages long, where we actually showcase it in written volume of what we saw. Communities that go through this process said, wow, we got more out of that than we have when we spend 10 times more money. It really is an amazing program. We can't wait to assess your community.